son of David, the king. Now let's look at the next statement by the prophet and see if we believe that the son of David stood up and opened the seals in the earth. We're talking about full authority of sonship in the earth right now. God moving in the earth. What earth? Your earth. Your body. Remember the door that he opened? If you open the door, I will come in and sup with you. And you with me. That's the door that's open. You can't place the seals as opened. Unless you put the son of David, the lion of the tribe of Judah here, because that's what the scripture says. The lion of the tribe of Judah opened those seals. You can't place the seals as open. You, you cannot say the seals are open unless you can say the lion of the tribe of Judah is in the earth to open them. Now everybody wants to say William Branham opened the seal, but then they want to say they're waiting on the lion of the tribe of Judah. We're waiting on Jesus to come. We're waiting on Moses and Elijah. We're waiting on this and that. We're waiting on all these things. But then they'll turn around and say the seals are opened. There are those that say they're of the royal seed of Abraham, but are not. There are those that say they're Jews, but they are liars. <laughs> they're not a Jew. They don't believe the line of the tribe of Judah is here. They don't believe they've been changed into a Hebrew. They don't believe they've been changed into a Jew. They will quote the scripture by intellect. They will quote a prophet by intellect. But they will not say what he did and what is presently going on. Just read Revelations 5. The lamb did not open the seals. It was the lion that tore those seals off and let us look in to this coming. First seal, Brother Branham, standing in Jeffersonville, Indiana, 1963. It's a good lesson for some of you that are new. William Branham was a prophet sent from God. The last prophet to the seven church ages. And he had a mission. And that mission was to open up the seals. And it took the Leo, the lion of the tribe of Judah to come into William Branham's body to open those seals up. He had to come back to earth to do it. And now the lamb. Here he is in the first seal. It's March the 18th. And now the lamb is standing now tonight. 48 years ago. Just two nights ago. The Lamb is standing now, tonight. Did you, did you read that? Yes. As we enter into this sixth chapter, he's got the book in his hand and starting to reveal it. He didn't beat around the bush. He didn't say, I'm reading about the Lamb and one day he's going to get the book in his hand and he's going to open it. The Lamb is standing now, tonight. As we enter into the sixth chapter, he's got the book in his hand and starting to reveal it. The seals are being opened. Who was the lamb? Brother Parnell, that, that's Jesus. Yes, it's Jesus. But who was it? There was a lamb standing in the pulpit at Jeffersonville, Indiana. And the dove came down on him. The lamb and the lion stood in the pulpit. The lion of the tribe of Judah took him over. And the lion used the lamb to open those seals. But the lion is the one that revealed it. The lamb was standing there with the book in his hand. And oh, I would have absolutely today. I hope that people are spiritual. I would have had a horrible mistake on, what, on that if it hadn't been about 12 o'clock today. When the Holy Spirit came in the room and corrected me on something that I was writing down. Brother Branham was going to preach that the seals was something totally different than what they were. And God came down 12 o'clock in the day on March the 18th and corrected our prophet so that the seals would be opened correctly. Who do you think that was walked into that room? Who do you think that was that took over and made sure the seals were broke open to you in a correct manner? The Leo, the lion, Jesus Christ himself moved into that room, came and talked with him. He said, I didn't know why. I don't know no more about what the second seal is right now than anything. And he tells about things about it. And then he says down here where it's underlined. And there about 12 o'clock in the day, the Holy Spirit just swept right down in the room and the whole thing just opened up to me and there it was of this first seal being opened. So the prophet caught the understanding 
Leo the lion took over that lamb. A lamb is a submissive one. And the lamb walked to the slaughter. He knew his, his ministry would be slaughtered. He knew that the denominations would throw him out. He knew he would be rejected. He knew all those things. And the lamb took the book and walked to the slaughter. And Leo the lion proceeded out of his mouth. And he began to open those seals. Do we believe what we just read in the last two quotes? Do we really believe that was the lamb and the lion standing in the pulpit? The prophet was clear to us on December the 4th, 1960, that Jesus Christ was prophet and priest at that time. And when he returns to earth again, he'll be king. Now do we believe the message of the first seal? Wherein he said, the lamb was standing with the book in his hand tonight. On March the 18th. Where was he standing? 1963, about 12 o'clock in the day, in that little room, that, that man standing there, the line of the tribe of Judah, took that lamb over and opened those seals to us from that moment forward. You can't open the seals without bringing Christ back to earth. We can pinpoint the very time to the hour when the lamb became a lion and broke those seals to us. It was about 12 o'clock in the day on March the 18th, 1963, that it was the lamb and the lion came together. Leo the lion, Jesus Christ, moved into the body of William Branham and began to break the revelation. And they came together and rested in the revelation of Jesus Christ and it brought the son of David on the scene.